What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Jayla Sorry, coming back with another update. I told y'all I was going to be more consistent. Uh, I did upload another uh, separate video like four or five days ago. So I'm going to try to at least do two videos a week. But uh, anyway, today I'm going to be talking about um, can you get a local job straight out of TDL school? Because that's a real big topic. And I also want to discuss the... Um, Shit, excuse me. I want to briefly discuss the three different types of driving. It's local, over the road, and regional. Now, it does have some other stuff like intermodal and other stuff, but the three main categories is local, regional, and over the road. Uh, but anyway, first, y'all hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned. I'm coming back to back with videos from now on. And I actually just got a real good job. I'm going to be doing videos about that because I'm hopping into the food service with my CDL. So, uh, y'all stay on the lookout for that. Anyway... So, um, can you get a local job straight out of school? You absolutely can. Um, it also depends on the state and the city you live in, if they have a lot of jobs to offer and stuff like that, if the job market is big. Right now, for truck drivers, bro, the market is crazy. Like, because they got a shortage, especially when COVID hit, it made it even worse. Um, like I said, I just got into food service. So, with that, that's local. They don't usually require you to have no experience and you be home every night. You're going to work hard. With any local job, you're going to work hard. Most local jobs is touch freight. But it does have somewhere you just, like, uh, guys telling me LTL, which is less than a truckload. Um, they just pretty much drop and hook, shuttle between yards. Um, but most of them is hands-on. And that's the difference. But you can get a local job straight out of school. A lot of them, at first, they wanted you to have a year of experience and whatnot. Um, but the school I actually went to, they actually, um, helped you locate local jobs. They had a big, I want to say, not really a contract, but they just had a list of local jobs that was kind of, always came to their school to recruit people. So, because people, when I first got my CDL, I was talking about getting it, they was like, you're going to have to go over the road for at least a year to get your year of experience. No, you don't. And people going to tell you, oh, it's best to get your year of experience over the road. No, it's not. Because this what don't correlate. Okay, over the road, you mostly just on the road on the highway all the time. That's not going to get you prepared and ready for city driving where you around hella traffic all the time in the city. And you got to be way more attentive versus just sitting on the highway holding the steering wheel. Like, that's not the same. Only thing it could help you with is possibly backing, you know, because you got to back up and back bump docks a lot. But you don't have to go over the road. And then they want you to stay out. 28 days, three weeks to four weeks, just to get three days off is not worth it. Um, but yeah, you can't get a local job straight out of school. Most uh, food service companies like Cisco, US Foods, Gordon, um, Performance Food, um, all of them, they hire you with no experience, they'll train you. Coca-Cola, any beverage companies like Budweiser, Bud Light, they'll train you. Like I said, it's gonna be hands-on work. You gotta usually you gotta unload your trailer. It's hard work, but they all pretty much pay good. I hear food service pay real good. That's what I'm saying. I'm just getting into it, and I haven't started my new job yet. I should be starting within like a week. But I want y'all to know it is hope, and you can um get a local job straight out of school. Don't listen to people who tell you it's impossible or like I said, some areas it is. It's not impossible, but it's way harder to find them. Uh, another local job you can get construction. Um, because you can do dump trucks and stuff like that. And if you got a Class A license, don't be afraid to drive Class B trucks if you don't want to go. If you can't find a Class A local job, try a Class B. Some they got some good paying jobs too. So, um, I mean, that's always out there. But if you got any questions on that, drop a comment in the section. You know, I'll reply back. I answer it. Now, the other part of this video I wanted to talk about is, um, like I said, the three different classes of driving. So it's local, which you be home every night. Usually, most local jobs work a Monday to Friday schedule. Um, that just depends on the company. Not always, but usually home every night and off weekends. Regional, you're only within a certain region. You might hit like around, and that depends on who you work for. Some companies only hit like six states. Some of them run like 10 states. You only run a couple of states in your region. Like if you work in the northern region, you're going to be up there a certain region, over there, whatever. See, but over the road, you can run all 48, lower 48, whatever. You can run, you know, you can run all across the country. Uh, delivering freight and with that you just pretty much bumping down because you're not really touching freight you just sitting behind a wheel honestly it's not for me it's boring i don't like sitting behind a wheel i know people tell me oh you can do some easier work you don't have to strain your body no i'd rather get out and work because i like to stay active for myself 
But if you got any more questions about that, you know, you can just go in the comments. I'm not going to really get into the specifics on it, but that's pretty much the basis. Like I said, local, you home every night. Regional. Regional is usually like five days out on the road, then you come home on the weekends. Local, I mean, uh, over the road, most of the time, they want you to be out three weeks to four weeks. You come home for like three or four days because you get a day out. You get a day off for each week you're out. But some companies, they do it different. You know, you get a little bit more time. But most of them on average want you to be out for at least three weeks before you even come home. Which, sleeping out of that truck is... The, the sleepers are comfortable, but it's hard hard way to live. Um, you got to find good ways to eat healthy and stuff and try to stay active. You're sitting out in that wheel all day. And it's not for everybody. Some people love over the road. Some people hate local. Some people love local. I would prefer to be local at home every night. I don't care if I got to work hard. I got a daughter and a wife that I want to come home to every night and see them. So it's it's worth it for me, you know what I'm saying? And then local jobs pay good. Most local jobs pay by the hour um, versus over the road. They pay by cents per mile. They pay you by the mile. So if you ain't rolling, you ain't making no money versus local. You could take your time if you can pay by the hour. You still getting paid these way it go for your work, so um that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick update. Like I said, you don't have to have a year of experience for local. Most food service companies, beverage, construction, they'll train you with no experience. Some of them want you to have maybe three months. You, now what you could always go over the road for like three or six months, get the little experience, and then go local. So a lot of people do do that too. But me, I tried over the road and I worked for one week and fuck that. <laughs> I couldn't do it, bro. Just being away from my child. And my child just about to make one years old. So she was super little when I decided to go out like that. And it ain't worth it for me. Not at all, bro. Um, but that's really much it. Y'all stay tuned. Hit that like button. Subscribe. I'll be back with another update in a few days. Like I said, I'm going to start a new job. So I'm going to be doing videos on that. Um, if you got any questions, you know... Drop it in the comments and I'll answer back. Or if you want to get any of my info to talk to me about my last video, about getting me a CDL, you can do that too. But all right, YouTube, I'm out.